And when peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll.
I'll tell you when you sing the last verse of that song, it is well with my soul. And it talks about the trump of God will sound. And it talks about the hope we have in Christ. Something just rises up. You kind of wonder what's going on in this whole world, don't you? You kind of wonder. You see things taking place. Now, it may be 300 years before Jesus comes back. It may be 30 years. It may be three years. Maybe three hours. It may be three minutes. We may not even finish this service. He could come any time. For such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man comes. But could it just be that the Father is just about ready to say to the Son, go get my children. Go get my children. You see, the Bible tells us in Matthew that when you see these things start to happen, it's the beginning of birth pains. Mama's going into labor. We're just about ready to give birth and something's happening. You see what's happening around the world. I saw pictures from Oregon and Washington, the fire and the clouds that come. And I was reading this week in the revelation about the judgment of the bowls. And as I read through all those seven judgments, now they kind of make sense. To read a third of the earth will have boils all over their body. You say, well, this can never happen all over the world. But when you see a virus get loose, you say, you know what? This stuff isn't outside the realm of possibilities. And so something inside of us begins to say, something's happening. There's a groaning. There's a restlessness. There's something that's about ready to shake loose. And this is time for God's people to keep their eyes looking up, to keep their hope on him. No government can solve what we're facing in this world. No person will come to the rescue. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. He's the one. He's our hope. He's the one we're looking forward to. And I want you to sing that course again and just worship him with everything in you. I want you to sing that verse and understand that our confidence is fixed on him. We've got work to do here. We're not teaching you an escapist theology. We're just simply saying what the early church did, where they cried out and they said, even so, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Lord, haste the day. Let's just thank him right now for his goodness.